Hey plant gang, uh, what we have here, uh, an ornamental for some, a weed for others. This is Ipomia, typically listed as tricolor, Ipomia tricolor. Uh, some, there are some hybrids out there uh, as well between different Ipo, uh, Ipomia species or Ipomia species. Uh, but this is the morning glory, the morning glory vine. Uh, and in some uh, regions of the country uh, for agricultural uh, uh, enterprises, this can be a pretty bad weed. Uh, and in fact, I'm showing you one that is just kind of seated here uh, next to one of our greenhouses at the University of Tennessee. Uh, but look at the flowers, they're pink. Uh, they range from purple to pink. Uh, there's blue ones, there's white ones. Uh, really one of the, the vines that you can grow that has a true blue flower is some of the versions of this morning glory vine. Uh, there are some different iterations of leaf shape, uh, but very typical heart-shaped leaf uh, with pubescence on it. Uh, this is typically grown from seed uh, for gardeners who want to have this in their landscape. It's typically grown by seed. It can be controlled later with pre-emergence herbicides uh, if uh, that is a problem for you in your landscape. Uh, but in the late summer, it is a beautiful bloomer. Uh, the, the blooms of morning glory are delicate, they're beautiful. Uh, and a real kind of a joy uh, to the garden in the right place. So the Morning Glory, this is a fast growing annual vine that will twine soft stems up to eight to 10 foot uh, in one season, uh, can spread out three to six foot wide. It does self seed quite easily and become, uh, become a weedy nuisance. And so you do wanna be careful with this vine, uh, planting it in judicious areas, uh, but it is grown quite widely by gardeners uh, for its beautiful late summer flower and ornamental characteristics. Here's a landscape tip. This plant is best grown on some sort of support including pergolas, walls, or fences. It is great in containers, hanging baskets, or as a ground cover.